bumper packer sweeties. Lots of lollies. We are now officially in Wales. All of the signs are completely illegible. Now we stop for coffee because we just need it. Cheers. <laughs> oh, even. Hello. Hey. Very traffic. What up? What is going on team? It's now half ten in the morning. This is a super cool setting for a CrossFit box. I was like walking down here and you know when it's like raw and rugged and you just want to lift heavy sh uh, Yesterday was like super manic. We got here pretty late and then we went out for food and I didn't want to take the camera. I just wanted to chill and like hang out with Jack. Take kind of a day off editing and concentrating so much on filming so I could be fresh for today. Because we're back on box tour and we're at CrossFit SA1. How's it going? Hi. Hi. So this is like the Olympic lifting area. It's so big. And then they got the kind of main box, which is huge. <laughs> yeah. God, you've got to try that. What? I mean, I'll just fall and fail, but you can try it. I'll cheer you on. <laughs> this is one of the pieces of equipment I want to get for my home gym when I start like getting stuff. The ski erg. Not many of the gyms that I've been to have got one, and I really like enjoy it. 10 rounds, 100 meters, in a three. Your rest is when the other two are going. Just kind of jacking up the heart rate, ready to go on to our lifting. But I can't do a lot of lifting. My knee is still bad. <laughs> it could be worse. It could be a hell of a lot worse. It may have been the travelling down yesterday or the lack of sleep over the last couple of days. Food, water, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but myself and Jazz, where is she? There she is. Um, I'm both going super light-headed before we lift and we feel like we've got nothing in the tank. So we were working up to a heavy triple on deadlifts. Went to 160 and I'm just going to like stop there. The thing is, right, I could probably lift heavier, but what it's going to do for me and my body is probably not beneficial. So I'm listening and I'm stopping and we're going to go on to something a lot lighter and we'll have tomorrow as a rest day. Oh! I'll tell you something. My grip was going massively on that towards the end. Five rounds, 10 handstand push-ups in the first minute, 15 pull-ups in the second minute, 10 power snatch at 40 kg in the third minute. Hence the grip. My forearms are so pumped. I swear, there's no worse a pain than a splitting forearm pump. Now I want to do the pegboard. I really want to try the pegboard. Always seen them in the games and other gyms. Never tried them. See me on first time trying them. Oh. Now. I'm too high. <laughs> <sighs> You've got to be cooked and you pull the pegboard. Arms are so high, but you're still not really that far from the ground. That pegboard is hard. Like keeping it bent arm, you can go a little bit quicker, but then I couldn't get as far. Keeping it like super straight arm and just going slow and steady. <laughs> Seemed to do the trick. Now we're just going to head out for some food. I think I wasn't fueled enough for the session, hence I was like, whoa, I have to like do most of this stuff today. Sometimes it happens. Just got to kind of adjust your workout for it. Let me show you something. We drove from there. Our car was parked right there. <laughs> Jazz up here. I didn't no clue why I did that. Picked up a blackberry mojito green tea lemonade. Never had one before. Sounds nice though. I love green tea, so it's, it's amazing. I was thinking this when I was in the queue. 
I want to ask you guys a question. If you could like choose any CrossFitter in the whole entire world to wad with, who would you wad with? Like the obvious one's Rich Fronin because he's just incredible and like the guy's superhuman. But I think if I could have anyone to wad with, it would be Sigmund's daughter. Because all the interviews and everything, she's just like, she just seems hilarious. I'd love to watch with Lauren Fisher. I love Lauren Fisher. She's so cool. So, uh, post workout today, we're in Nando's. <laughs> Chicken salad with an extra fillet, side of fries, and side of avocado. And then we're going to have it with balsamic, because balsamic's like the best thing in the world. That was the only way I was going to get in that water. Time for session two of the day. I don't know if you're going to call it swimming or if you're going to call it cryotherapy. Ice therapy. It's not like Cyprus. No. <laughs> it's cold. It's nice. <laughs> okay? Yeah, it's just a bit I'm warming up now, actually. I've also got seaweed <laughs> stuck to me. It's not very stable. <laughs> Good game. Good game. Good game. Good job. Oh yeah. Good team. My little guy. See you later. Hello. See you later. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> it's such a good weekend with Jack and Lucy. They're two like the nicest people I've ever met and I met them through CrossFit. 90% of my friends are CrossFit friends. CrossFit friends! Yeah, what a, what a weekend. You know, yesterday was very chill, today was very manic. We just passed 14 and a half thousand subscribers, which is freaking, I just, yeah, it's just awesome. Like, I didn't, I didn't expect that. My goal this year was like, my goal this year was to get 10,000. Also, my American subscribers have now passed my English subscribers. But anyway. Oh, oh, you left me. <laughs> from myself and Jazz, we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Leave a like right for Jazz. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Time to get coffee. That was such a swag walk. <laughs> such a sweaty swag walk. <laughs> nice to get a sweaty swag on a Sunday. <laughs> Sunday sweaty swag. <laughs>